So you're still on your own? Yeah, but I mean, I love it there. I'm up to my eyes in it, like, but, you know, I'm in charge. I can do whatever I want. Yeah, well, you better not get too used to it. I'm sure you'll get a new manager soon. Why can't I be manager there? I can do that job. I'm proving that right now, aren't I? Yeah, I know, but... No, uh... don't say but. I mean, I thought you wanted me to show some ambition. <sighs> oh, yeah, realistic ambition. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. No, I didn't mean Are you realistic. saying that becoming a manager for that book is his aiming a bit high, Dad? Is that what you're saying no, to me? No, 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 I'm not saying that. I just don't want you to get your hopes up when you might turn up on Monday morning and find the manager already there. You know, one of these days, I'm going to surprise you. I'm sure you are. All I'm saying is I can't believe you're not worried. Why should I worry? She's gone. Yeah. I'm free at last. Yeah, but you don't know where she is. I don't care where she is. All I care about is she's not near me. All right, listen. Let's just say, right, something's happened. What, like she's tripped over to hurt her ankle or uh, broken her finger now? <laughs> listen, this is Linda we're talking about. She's quite capable of taking care of herself, OK? okay. So stop worrying. I am. OK. Right. Makes my day to see Baldwin's life going pear-shaped. No, he doesn't seem that upset to me. Well, he's hiding it. He's playing the big man. I reckon she dumped him, jacked him in for a younger model. And good luck to her, that's what I say. Look what happened to Susan. Any woman that's had dealings with Baldwin should get as far away from him as possible. <laughs>